Over the past several weeks, we've been talking about a lot of the alternatives to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, and today is one that's worth visiting. We've saw all the ones from Draft to Digital to Publish Drive to Street Lib, but what about Blur Books? I've talked about them on a few occasions, but this time around, we got to see about diving a little deeper into a place called Blur Books and see what they're all about and how they compare to a place like Kindle Direct Publishing. And let's get a little bit of shameless self-promotion out of the way here. Between two YouTube channels, I have over 1,500 videos sharing all aspects of writing and self-publishing. However, we can all agree that it's a lot of information to wade through that requires more time than we can afford. Not to mention some topics I don't even cover because they won't perform well on YouTube. Sorry, folks, I'm a video creator and I have to put out stuff that's going to resonate well with everybody on YouTube. Enter the self-publishing hub, my streaming video service that's only $9.99 per month. Get access to over a half dozen courses, exclusive content, and behind-the-scenes access that you won't get anywhere else. If you've been looking for more detailed information in the world of self-publishing without the huge cost of admission, then consider subscribing to theselfpublishinghub.com for only $9.99 per month. Remember, it's the one, the only, theselfpublishinghub.com. All right, so let's transition over into it. What is Blurb Books? Now, I'm going to refer to them as Blurb from this point on because I think it's sometimes a little confusing because we will say a book description is a blurb, and then other times we refer to a blurb when somebody reviews a book and gives us that blurb to share on our book. But Blurb, from this point on, I'm referring to Blurb Books, the company. So Blurb is a self-publishing platform that allows authors to create, publish, and sell their own books. It provides tools and services for creating professional quality print books, including novels, photo books, cookbooks, and more. Now, authors can use Blurb to design their book layouts, customize covers, and even sell their books to the Blurb bookstore or other online retailers. I covered Blurb books a few times in the past. However, some changes have happened over the past couple years and it requires a revisit to clear up any ambiguity surrounding their platform. All right, so let's start out with the one thing that was a big change, no ebook distribution. As of July 2022, Blurb no longer distributes ebooks, and in their words, they said, we found that ebooks are not as easily shareable and have more font and formatting restrictions than other digital assets like PDFs. Therefore, while we know this could be a disappointment, we've decided that we can no longer support ebooks. So, Big kudos to them that they kind of know where their market share lies, where they are strongest. So they were like, eh, we're no longer doing ebooks. So it's funny, I didn't discover this was an issue until I think it was about last year, and someone was like, hey, you do know that they don't do ebooks anymore. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Apparently, they just kind of quietly rolled that one out. And in their defense, um, I don't pay as close attention to them as the other platforms, so that was on me. But this is already one strike against Blurb in comparison to Kindle Direct Publishing because, well, KDP does ebooks. The other thing is they don't do audiobooks, though KDP technically doesn't distribute audiobooks. It's on the horizon for them as they recently rolled out invite only beta access to digital narration and distribution. No strikes for this one, but it's good to note that really Blurb is only good for print on demand, but it's a little limiting. Now, uh, let me just share what they have available for print books. Let's get what they really are focused on when it comes to authors. Trade books are in three trim sizes. That's right, three trim sizes. You look over at something like, say, KDP, there's 16 trim sizes and a customization option, whereas with Blurb, only three and five by eight, six by nine, and eight by ten. Now, this is available in soft cover or paperback as we refer to it, hardcover with image wrap, or some people call it a case wrap, dust jacket with hardcover as well. So that's kind of nice. They have it available in a few different color printing types, which is standard black and white printing on 50 pound white uncoated paper, economy color printing on 70 pound white uncoated paper. And um, in, in my opinion, uh, excuse me, hang on, I, I missed the economy. Yes, economy, color printing on 70 pound paper, uh, and then standard color. Now, the economy color is like their good model, whereas standard is their 
premium model. So it, they, they use different industry terms as opposed to like what they use in the other ones. So for instance, on KDP, they call it standard color and then they call it premium color. So that is just something to kind of think about. Now, in my opinion, the base costs are considerably higher than any other POD distributor. Now, I, I shouldn't even say it's my opinion. It's a fact. Their base costs are considerably more, more than Lulu, more than Ingram Spark, more than KDP. It's probably the most expensive of any of the platforms that I've dealt with before. Now, the other print options is where they do excel. They have photo books in six trim sizes and a variety of paper and print types. So where I'd mentioned like just the few options for the trade books, photo books, it's a ton. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I, some of them never even heard of them. So if you're looking into getting into photo books, this might be an avenue worth pursuing. Uh, magazines as well. They have that available in eight and a half by 11 only. And then wall art. Now I skipped over one of the options, which is PDFs and it doesn't make any sense to me while they have PDFs available since they can't distribute them. But anyway, back to wall art, they have seven sizes. Now here's where I just, I looked at a comparison because if you're doing wall art, for instance, some of the wall art that has been in my background for some of my videos is done by a company called Canvas Champ, relatively inexpensive. You're talking like I would get like an eight inch by eight inch um, a canvas print with the frame and such. And it would run me about like five or $6, like super, super cheap. If I found a really good deal. And if I didn't get a good deal, it was like 15 to 20 bucks tops. Now their wall art is really expensive. Like I looked at that. I'm like, why am I ordering it through you? Like, and I don't even know that they have this wall art Distrib uh, distributed to places like Amazon. So some of these options aren't reaching other larger retailers. So you're looking at having to fulfill those yourself. So there is that. Now distribution. Now here's where it gets pretty interesting. You have distribution to the Blur Bookstore, which is really clean, very nice layout, has the best royalty of any of the options I've seen so far. They also have Amazon and they have Ingram. Now, Ingram would be Ingram Book Group, meaning that they're going to reach about 40,000 online retailers and libraries and institutions. The royalty though, this is where it gets interesting. I can't just simply tell you it's 55% or it's 70% or it's 35%. No, there is no percentage. What it, it works out to be is there's going to be the base print costs for your book. And then you're going to add the profit that you want to, to come out to your retail price. And if you're looking to get global retail network, it will be base cost plus the profit that you want to, plus the wholesale discount that you will offer for getting global retail network. Now, keeping in mind that it's going through Ingram Book Group and a site like Ingram Spark insists that if you want to get distribution, right, there's no problem. You'll get out there, you get distributed. Now, whether any of those brick and mortar stores or retailers are going to take you comes down to the wholesale discount and see Ingram Spark recommends that you have it as deep as 55%. With Blurb, they offer you two wholesale discount options. One of them is going to be for broad, and I'm gonna put quotations around broad. It's for 40%. Now you're gonna be offering a 40% wholesale discount. Usually this is available through search and online stores, including Amazon and available for special order through physical bookstores. Now for the other option, it's comprehensive, which is the 55% discount. Now that's the widest discoverability through online stores, including Amazon available for special order through physical bookstores. Now in comparison to KDP, Blurb doesn't have the same amount of trim sizes as I mentioned, but they have a variety of print types. Any author looking to expand beyond print books into the world of photo books, magazines, or even wall art, Blurb is a pretty good fit. Now, how does Blurb pay? Now, payments are processed in the first half of each month for the previous month's profits. They will do check or PayPal. Now, that one gets me scratching my head. Like, PayPal's great, please don't get me wrong, but they usually end up taking some type of fees out for something like that. I'll get to that in just a second here. Now, your minimum payment threshold is 25 US dollars or Canadian dollars, $30 Australian, 1250 
uh, excuse me, uh, 1250 pounds for Great British Pounds and 1750 Euro. So uh, there's additional processing fees. Now, how this works out for each one of them, I'm not really 100% certain. There's a $1 processing fee if you do it through PayPal. So this means they're gonna take another dollar from you. Now, they may have something worked out with PayPal where PayPal doesn't take any fees. If that's the case, great, fantastic, not bad. But if PayPal's taking additional fees on top of that, eh, I'm not a big fan of that. Now, if you wanna have check, that's a $5 processing fee. What the freaking hell? I, what? KDP has direct deposit, as do a lot of other platforms, and the minimum is zero dollars. Yeah, zero bucks. Now, let's just say, for instance, you want to get a check through KDP, it's a hundred US dollars. Now, to my understanding, and I could be wrong on this one, I don't think there's any processing fees. I'm not sure why Blurb does this. I'm sure they have their reasons, but it certainly seems a little overreaching in my opinion. But just my opinion on this one. I've yet to actually experience their platform through selling on them, so who knows. Here's my hangups when it comes to Blurb. It doesn't appear to be an author-focused website or service, especially with the removal of ebook distribution. It just seems clear to me that they're more about fulfilling, let's say for instance, print orders for somebody who's a hobbyist, someone who's just in this business to maybe get a few books printed for themselves and for family members and maybe to sell at some you know local conferences or something like that beyond that though it doesn't really seem to be very focused on authors distributing to a wide array of areas uh you know case in point the royalty structure like that's just really weird. Why don't you just be straight up and just tell me what the percentage is instead of getting it to where, oh, I've got to figure this out with all these, this different formula and I have to plug it in. Now, the other issue I have is print books place the ISBN in the bottom middle of the back cover, essentially making it impossible to take any of the assets that you've made for places like KDP or Ingram Spark or Draft the Digital. You can't make it available through Blurb because, well, they have to have their ISBN in the middle. It's kind of goofy. And speaking of, you have to have a different cover and interior specs through Blurb. So what you've used on the previous platforms, even if the ISBN, if you could just move it, ain't gonna work. Now, to their, to, to their credit, I actually had used them at one point or another. And one of the things I did notice is they had an automated adjusting system. Like, so I put in my cover and it adjusted it automatically. I did my interior, it adjusted it automatically. But as you can imagine, if I already had a place put for the barcode in the bottom right of the back cover and it moves to the bottom middle, it starts to mess things up. Now, can't just use the files from KDP or Ingram Spark. And let's transition over here. The pricing is way, way above the industry standard. There's so many different platforms that are charging a considerable, a considerable amount less and getting about the same quality. And that's what's gonna be a great way for me to transition over to quality. Are they terrible? Are they bad? No, they're pretty good, actually. It's not bad. But is it worth the upcharge? In my opinion, not really. I mean, you look at a platform like Book Vault, which charges a fraction of the amount of what Blurb does, it really kind of makes me kind of wonder and scratch my head, like, what's going on? And I've already kind of harped on this one already. No direct deposit. Come on now, guys. Get us direct deposit. I mean, there's almost every platform does direct deposit in some capacity. So let's get that one enabled. And you might be able to tempt me just a little bit more to at least tap into the Blur bookstore for selling my books. Now, I don't want to sit here, be heavy handed and beat the heck out of Blurb without giving a little bit of praise. There are some good aspects about them. They've got a great and clean site. It's relatively easy to upload and their customer support is excellent. When I had a question and I send it through them, they were able to respond within a day or two. And that's really good. I do like that. Uh, one last little plug here, folks. Get access to my exclusive content covering the world of self-publishing when you subscribe to theselfpublishinghub.com for only $9.99 per month. Start when you like, cancel when you want. Hey, 
you can always just go ahead and binge watch videos for the next month and just pay only 10 bucks to watch all those videos. It's up to you now. I, I wouldn't recommend trying to watch all of those videos because that's hours of footage. Remember, it's the one, the only, the selfpublishinghub.com, folks. Now, my final thoughts when it comes to Blur Books. Uh, Blur Books is an okay alternative to other POD platforms. The best royalty happens in the Blur bookstore. So if you really want to take advantage of where you can make the most money, it would be through Blurb's bookstore sales. Now, do they have organic reach? Uh, it's debatable. I'm sure somebody else who sells through there can probably tell you for themselves. So I'm not entirely sure on this one. How does it compare to KDP? Well, it's not as robust as KDP, though it carries the same reach as KDP print plus expanded distribution. And Blurb reaches all of Ingram Book Group's reach, as opposed to KDP, where they only use US and UK distribution through Ingram Book Group and expanded distribution. So there are some pros and there are some cons. I would really recommend that if you're in the business of self-publishing and you're looking for the best quality print um, content, definitely put Blurb on that list when you're ordering proofs and see if it's gonna be something that you like. Just be prepared. It's going to be a higher amount base cost for your book when you order those things. It's just a reality. I'm sure they have their reasons. I don't think they're just trying to bilk everybody of money. They probably have to pay for printers and pay for the overhead and everything else in between. So I'm not going to fault them for that. Hey, as we start to wrap up today's little broadcast about Blur Books, I want to let you know that next week we're going to be breaking into a different platform called Book Ricks. Is Book Ricks worth it? KDP alternatives no one talks about. Like, I don't hear anybody talking about Book Ricks. I heard about them a number of years ago when I first stumbled over Publish Drive and Pronoun Publishing had closed down. And I was like, oh, yeah, I need to find something different. And Publish Drive checked all the boxes that I was looking for in a publishing platform. So I passed on Book Ricks. We're going to talk more about Book Ricks next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that broadcast, podcast, podcast, broadcast, however you want to say it. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll catch you guys and gals next week.